This is session recap for the 10th day of September. And this morning we were watching as the dollar index, uh, you know, did a flag. It's now popped up here. It's telegraphing right now. See, they're opening and closing the candle above this line. That's the telegraph that we're trying to go up. You can see that MACD is rolling over, although it's been down. You can see that it's rolling over here right now. See that? So it's telling you this is what we're going to do. All right. So we're going to go with the uh, uh, with the buy. All right. Dollar up. All right. That means that euro should go down. And sure enough, it is. All right. And there's the target. It's too close for us. We can't trade it. Target is at 109.90. Pound dollar. All right. Pound dollar with two thirds of the way to target, a little bit more to go. And if the dollar keeps going uh, up, this is your trade tonight, right down in here. Most likely all the way down to 29.50 here. All right. So we'll see what it does, but uh, watch for that tonight. All right. Dollar Swissy should be trying to turn up. It's not, it's showing down. This is a big problem here. Okay. So we are above the zero line, but we just got a zero line break to the downside. Okay. So you can see they're just going sideways here, and that means it's a flag pattern right there. So we came in going up, that means we could come out going up, all right? So we got it down right now, right? but uh, I would not take that up to the 55 and down. I wouldn't take that until it proves what it is. So for me right now, I'll put a little, you, uh, you might want to block it off like this. I'll be a buyer up here, and I'll be a seller down here, all right? Tonight, not now. Tell me what you are. It's not telling us what it is yet. I'm going to take this off. And we got it down right now, but it's not moving. And that's a good thing. We didn't jump in because it didn't prove what it's doing. So we didn't jump in the trade. Yeah, but it's bright red, man. Why didn't you sell it? Because we don't trade that way. Bright red means momentum's here to the downside. Are they here to just finish off the C wave or are they here to go down? That's the decision the trader has to make. And you got to wait for that answer. Dollar yen. All right, we got it down, and sure enough, it is coming down. Our target is at 142 down here. Watch, it's got a big ATR, so you can get to the bottom of the channel tonight. All right, if the dollar keeps going, uh, dollar yen keeps going down. Now, remember, it's going the opposite of the dollar, so it's all being run by the Bank of Japan. So if they're in here, they'll run. They can run big moves. So make sure you put your entry orders in, entry orders, entry order, entry order, entry order, entry order, all the way down. At least four of them. All right. Uh, can't trade Aussie dollar or New Zealand dollar because the uh, ATRs are too low. Euro yen to the pip to its ATR. We tried to trade this this morning, but missed it. And uh, there it is. All right. Where did it go? To the pip to its ATR. Had we been on top of it, we would have traded it because we talked about it. All right. Then we walked away and it went. Uh, nothing to do. But that would have been our trade. We didn't trade it, though. All right. Pound yen, same exact thing. Oh, we had to break out of that to the downside, and there it is, to the pip, to its ATR. I wonder if they know where the ATR is. I wonder if I should use the ATR. I don't know. Based on what I see, you should. So there we go. Over to Aussie Yen. Aussie Yen breaking. We're two-thirds of the way to the target. We most likely hit that by uh, day's end right here without any problem at all, Aussie Yen. Next session, Sydney. So they'll easily do it. Then you're going to get a new ATR. You're going to be coming down in this area, at least down to 93.80 area, right? Maybe all the way down to 93.50. Can't trade Euro Pound yet. Now, Euro Aussie got a real question on this one. We got a breakup, MACD telling you we're going up, right? But all the other currencies are saying we're going down, right? So, and you can see up here in a higher chart, Bears got it. Let me get rid of this. So, Bears got it. Let me put that fib back on. Yep, 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 yep. They know it. Okay. All right. I have it up right now, but I am very cautious. As you can see, you're below the zero line break in a 240. That is a very corrective looking move for the upside move, right? But, uh, I mean, this is on a 60 minute chart, but uh, I got it up. So you got to wait until it proves it. How it proves it? It breaks, hooks, and goes. Right? Now you already have a break here with that wick and a hook back down. All right. So this next candle, if it opens with momentum, bright green, white dot, arrow on the bottom with momentum, that tells you we got participants. That's not a trade. It just says we got a lot of people here trying to buy this. That's what it means. What do you want to do with that? All right? 
So trade one is this is the whole trade right there. Trade one is going to be here. Trade two is going to be here. There we go. All right. Over to Swiss Yen. That should be uh, pushing down. It is. And uh, we still got 60 pips to the target. So this is tradable. So no, it isn't either. We got to pull back up to here. So it's got to pull back up to here, which if it doesn't get any traction is a high probability. Right? The other high probability is this is the place to put the flag pattern in like they did over here for the down move. That's how I came in. That's how I'm coming out. That's how I came in. This is how I'm coming out. See? So watch that one to the downside. If it goes up here, get a little push up, any little push up here, it's tradable this morning. Pound Aussie, right? Pound Aussie, and uh, I will have it down. And right now I'm waiting for that Euro Aussie to tell us what it's doing. It looks corrective, but it may not be. It may also be a flag pattern and another flag pattern right there, all right? For the downside move. Target is down here at 95.50 down in that area. All right, over to Euro New Zealand. All right, Euro New Zealand, we got a uh, little ways to go and we'll hit the ATR. Most likely by tonight, this afternoon, it'll take that out pretty easily. Now you have to wait till five o'clock and get a new uh, ATR, but that ATR should bring you down into this area, 70, 7,800 area, maybe even below it. All right. Down New Zealand, there she goes. Blog post this morning, just uh, me and uh, I think it's uh, Stephen are in it. That's all. And uh, target is down here at 2180 and uh, holding for the 1.618 at 2114. No, 2.1154. All right, underway. New Zealand yen. All right, almost a target now. And they just missed it down here by about, I don't know, maybe eight pips right down here. Now they'll still most likely take it. Uh, if we get a pullback up in here, you might want to think about that, especially uh, since tonight you'll have this trade here. So if you get this trade on, you can hold all positions as it as it materializes. Then you get a new uh, ATR tonight, and you can put three lots in here if trade one and two are in profit. I could trade three lots there without any increase in my risk, and I'll make a ton of pips if that happens. Can't trade Aussie Swissy or Aussie New Zealand. The ATRs are too late. Pound Swissy, it's almost a target now. It'll and it did hit target to the fifth at the ATR. I wonder if I should use the ATR. Yep. Yeah. All righty. So 